This new partnership between Kenya's Wildlife Service and Save the Elephants will help collect data in the Savo National Park in Kenya's south. It's meant to investigate the impact of the standard gauge railway line on the movement of the elephants. For a start, 10 elephants were tranquilized and fitted with advanced satellite radio tracking collars. This is the first time this has been done uh, with respect to infrastructure. So what we're trying to do is figure out how elephants are responding to this new high-speed rail line that's been put through, which is cutting between Savo East and Savo West National Parks. Uh, the, there have been underpasses put under this, uh, under this railway, and what we want to do is see how elephants uh, are responding to these underpasses. The standard gauge railway network is aimed at boosting trade and cutting transport costs across eastern Africa. It is part of a package of deals signed between Kenya and China in 2013. The new 609 kilometer long line, aimed for completion by the end of 2017, will be walled off and will in part be raised above the ground so that animals can safely pass underneath. However, much of the worry is about how the animal's movement has and will be affected by the human settlement. Luckily enough, uh Savo is still quite expansive. We have an area of more than 20,000 square kilometers. So a bit resilient in a way, but still receiving a lot of pressure from human settlement. And now things like the standard gauge railway, which, is, which, which, is, uh, which, which has altered wildlife district movement patterns in a way. So this brings along human wildlife, increased escalation in human wildlife conflict uh, cases whereby you'll find elephants crop raiding in, in areas that they didn't use to to begin with or just the total increase in, in conflict cases. Kenya's game parks and abundant wildlife draw tourists from across the world. The government is seeking to assure concerned conservationists that the new infrastructure developments, some cutting through the parks, will not negatively impact the wildlife. Wildlife in this country is such a major uh, economic uh, player. So as much as we do the development and we want to make easy access between cities and we want to transport goods easily, we must also remember that the, the, the wildlife sector is as important as those other developments that we are doing. So if we are going to do it blindly and not thinking about wildlife and blocking this connectivity, then in one way we are again killing another sector. Savo has been described by environmentalists as one of the greatest ecosystems in the world. Threats from rapid urbanization, climate change and poaching have decimated populations of its wildlife and in other parts of the country. And within just 60 years, the number of elephants left in the Savo is just a quarter of what it was when the park was gazetted in the 1940s. Leslie Murungu, CCTV.